I love Surface Titan, it's a really awesome system, but the office side from smartphones is still BS. Idea, manage your mobile app. Where's Service Titan at with an app for the office side? Wishlist, app for office side users. Is there ever gonna be an office side app for dispatching and taking calls? Idea, mobile app for office. Idea, can we get a mobile app for admin slash office, please? How many votes does it take? What's going on, everybody? It's Richard Koberger here, hey, the Blue Cloud Nerd, and in this video, I'm gonna grant your wish for an office app. Sort of. There is demand for a Service Titan Office app. You guys want it, you've made that clear. I've seen tons of posts on it over the years, plus it's one of the top five voted ideas right now in the ideas portal. Which is why Service Titan did start work on an office side mobile app. You might've caught wind of it. So why isn't it in your hands yet? Well, because it's not done. Oh, you wanna know why it's not done? Well, that's because the field mobile app, the mobile app that technicians use, is also being rebuilt. And just because of the earthly reality that resources are finite, both apps, the field and the office app, can't be built simultaneously. We have to focus on one first and then the other. And the decision was made to focus on the field mobile app first. After all, the field mobile app is actually the most used piece of Service Titan. The vast majority of companies have more technicians and salespeople out in the field than they do office people working in the office. So most Service Titan users are actually field users, and for them, that field mobile app is 100% of their Service Titan experience. And their experience is due for a tune-up, really more like an overhaul. Plus, there's no alternative for them. 100% of their use is mobile use. But Richard, at least they have a functioning mobile app. The office side has no functioning mobile app at all. Look, I get it. There's multiple ways of looking at it. I'm just trying to be as transparent with you as possible. This is what's going on. But the office mobile app is also so important and you guys want it so bad. And I know from reading a bunch of your posts that a bunch of you are using the office side of Service Titan on a mobile device anyway, which it's not designed for. That's gonna be a painful experience. For example, we just recently sunset the old customer and location page design, and I have a whole video where I address all of the critiques that I've seen about the new design, but there is one critique I did not address in that video, which is I've seen people complain that the new design is bad on a phone. And yeah, it's not designed to be used on a phone. Neither was the old page. Neither is this, 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 this. None of this is meant to be used on a phone. I've even seen somebody come after my beloved y'all program simply because this office app isn't out yet, which is too far. That's, That's my, my son, son you're talking about. about. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you the unfinished office app. There's a link in the description box down below where you can download it, but don't do it yet. It is an unfinished app, so I wanna be really clear with you what it can and cannot do as it stands today. Okay, so here we are in the current version of the Office mobile app. So one thing that this app is already pretty good for is just keeping an eye on KPIs throughout the day for like an owner or a manager. So when you first open up the app, you'll hit this home screen that has a company overview with total revenue and job averages. You'll see at the top there that date range that we're looking for, but we could hit that filter icon in the upper right hand corner to uh, filter by different business units, or we could tap on that date range under where it says home, uh, and that would let us filter by different date ranges. So you see we have a lot of options here as far as how we want to filter things, including custom date range, and all of the filters do work. Okay, so we've got that company overview, we've got technicians, and then we could expand into technician scorecards if we open that up by tapping into them. This card only has a short list, but we could tap view all here and see a bigger list. Again, we've got filters that all work. We can tap on either the filter icon in the upper right-hand corner to filter by business unit, or there's also a little like head, a little person next to it. We can tap on that to filter by division. Back to the home screen. Okay, so that was technician scorecards. We also have agent scorecards that work the same way. And then finally at the bottom, we have stats for open estimates, which just shows us the number of open estimates we have and the total dollar amount of those open estimates. But there's nothing to drill into there yet. You can't do any follow-ups yet from this mobile app. So that's the home page. Now next on the bottom navigation bar here is the dashboard. So here we have even more KPIs that we can look at. You see we have our total revenue here for the selected date range. Again, filters all work, so you can change the date range if you want. And it gives us a year over year comparison. So it gives us the blue bar for this year and then that gray bar for last year. We can tap to drill down into these business unit groups here. So residential HVAC, we can drill into that and see we've got business units within that, HVAC maintenance, we could keep drilling in. Then if we go back, we've also got sales metrics with some different tabs, average sale, close rate. Again, we could drill into individual business units. 
And then under that, we have average job metrics. If we keep going, we've got this breakdown of how many jobs we have scheduled versus completed versus canceled. And finally, at the very bottom, we have our call metrics. So that portion of the app that lets you look at KPIs and just keep an eye on things throughout the day, that's pretty robust. That works pretty well already. That's not to say you'll never encounter a bug because again, we're talking about an unfinished app here, but relatively considering that this is an unfinished app, that part is functioning pretty well. All right, next on the main navigation bar, we have the schedule tab. So this is our dispatch board. So we can see all of the jobs that are scheduled. We can change the date that we're looking at by tapping the date in the upper left. And we can filter by business unit by tapping that filter icon in the upper right. Plus we have a refresh button there just in case we feel like something's out of date or something. Okay, now currently you notice I'm holding my phone vertically and you have to do some horizontal scrolling to see the whole dispatch board. Your instinct might be to turn the phone sideways. Nothing happens when you do that yet. So vertical view only right now. Now, if we tap into an appointment on the dispatch board, we get additional details. For example, we get the job number. It looks like something we can tap on, but if we tap on it, nothing happens on finished app. We can see the tags, the bill to customer, the phone number, which tap to call doesn't seem to be working, at least on this example. We've got the address. We've got uh, Charles is the name of the technician that's assigned to this appointment. And we have this button that says edit appointment, which does work. So we can edit appointment details, which means that we can reschedule or reassign jobs that are already on the dispatch board. I'm phrasing that very carefully because we cannot yet book jobs from scratch, nor can we access the jobs tray in order to assign technicians to jobs that currently have no technician assigned. But if the job is already on the board, we can make edits to that job and move it around. Although I do have to point out that's only the case for the iOS version of the app right now. So if you're using the Android version of this unfinished app, then you will not be able to reschedule jobs. But if you're using the iOS version, which is the version that I'm showing you here, then you will be able to. So you can see here, we can change the start date, arrival window, start time, end time. We can add or edit special instructions and reassign technicians. We also have this find a time button, which does work. So if you tap on that, then this window gets out of your way so that you can see the dispatch board and find an opening, and then you can tap into the opening you wanna use, and then it'll pre-populate with all of that information. Then we could hit save changes, and then that reschedules the appointment. Okay, now next on the main navigation bar here at the bottom, we have the search tab. Here we can search for customers. So you can see here, we get our search results. Uh, we can see some information like emails and addresses, although we can't yet tap in to get even more details on the customer. And you see we have these little wrench icons next to the locations with a little plus sign. That is where you will eventually be able to book new jobs from scratch. But if we tap on that right now, this customer happens to have a balance, that's fine. I'll say book job. But then we just get this page that says coming soon. So that part is not built out yet. Another thing that's not built out yet, you see in the upper right hand corner, we have this little plus with a little person icon that's to add a new customer, but that part also not built yet. Then finally, on the main navigation bar here, we have this more tab. That's just got a link to the referral program, a link to a help article about this app, a little about link that just gives you like the version of the app that you're on and stuff like that, and the option to sign out. So that's it. That's the Service Titan Office app as it stands today. So if there's enough there that you're interested in getting it, then let me walk you through how you can do that. So in the description box down below, I have a link to a landing page. The landing page looks like this, Office App Early Access. You're gonna click this button that says join the waitlist. The button says waitlist, but you're not actually gonna have to do any waiting. It's just gonna instantly send you an email with all of the relevant links. So you click that, it gives you this little form to fill out. One of the questions that it asks you is the associated Google Play or App Store email. If you're not sure about that, don't sweat it too much. You can just use the same email that's up here. Once you've got that all filled in, you're gonna click register now, and then you should receive an email that looks like this. Now, if you happen to be using Gmail like I am, uh, when I filled out the form, the email automatically got sorted into this promotions folder, so it never hit my inbox. So if after you fill the form out, you're not seeing the email, then check all those folders and things. Sometimes email clients will auto sort stuff. But inside this email, we've got a link to download the Office app on an Apple device or an Android device as well as a recap of some details about the app that I just went over with you uh, and a link to the official help page. Now, in order to utilize these download links, you need to already be on the mobile device that you're trying to put the app on. 
So I've got this email pulled up on my computer here, but you should be looking at the email on your phone, on the phone that you're trying to put the app on. That way you can tap on the link, it'll open up the app store and you can download it from there. To be clear, it's an unlisted app right now, so you do need the link in order to get to the right page to download it. If you just search for it in the app store, you're not gonna find it. Even though this app is unfinished, I think there's enough there that a lot of people will find at least some utility in it. I know probably the biggest bummer is going to be that you can't book a job from scratch yet, but you can at least move jobs around and reassign them. Plus all of that dashboard KPI stuff is pretty robust and very valuable for owners and managers. So that's it, have at it. Link in the description box down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Appreciate it. Peace.